Washington, D.C. at 7 a.m. The warm wash of morning sun brings the nation's capital to life. But one of the most unusual sights on the National Mall marks this as no ordinary Friday. Thousands of teenagers from all over North America and from every walk of life have a job to do. Today, they're staking a claim for their future and the future of this country. Today, they're pledging their sexual abstinence until marriage. Gather together with your friends and family as the Inspirational Network and Youth for Christ present True Love Waits, the National Celebration, live from the National Mall in Washington, D.C. Well, now, if the question is, why wait, the answer is resoundingly clear. First, it is simply what's morally right. God has ordained sex for marriage. Believing that true love waits, I make a commitment to God, myself, my family, those I date, my future mate, and the future children to be sexually pure until the day I enter a covenant marriage relationship. Uh, and that's just what we believe. Speaking of commitment, here's a guy committed enough to stand in the middle of a crowd of wild and crazy kids. He's Mike E., my old friend from the Petra Tour and host of INSP's Urban Rap <laughs> Music Video Show, in the house. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Yo, 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 yo. What's up, Lisa? How you doing, Mac? That's <laughs> right. right. I'm here with thousands of kids from all over the country. I'm on the Stephen Curtis Chapman side of the stage, and I'll be talking to some of the entertainers earlier. I mean, later. I'm sorry. Excuse me. But right now, the kids are what's important, and they're all here to give you one message, and that message is... True love wait. I'm not married yet. I made a claim a long time ago, but I want to recommit myself to say that I will wait until I'm married. So I'm going to do it with them, and I'm very proud of y'all. What's your name? I'm Mark Keegan from New Providence, New Jersey. Okay, Mark, a lot of times us as guys, we, we have way more temptations from a lot of the ladies because they look good, you know, they're wearing jeans and all that kind of stuff. How do you get around that type of thing? You just got to pray. You just got to constantly pray. When you're in the situation that you might, you might be tempted really strong, you just got to keep, keep that in that line with God. In that light. Now, you guys look like you're a couple. Is that true? No, no you, you look good though. You could be. Tell me, uh, if, if you had a, a friend who was who had gotten into a problem, is it too late to make a recommitment type of thing? No, it's never too late with God. Just so you pray, He'll take anyone back. Okay. Huh? What's your name? Gina Zostra. Gina. Where? Mikey Nichols from Iowa. From Iowa. Now you got peer pressure in Iowa. You have trouble with waiting in Iowa. Yeah. How do you get around it? Uh, you just trust God. Thank you, God. Just trust God. You got it. <laughs> Ruler, yeah. Say amen. Pam Pum, is she standing by? We'd love to talk with her as well. Yeah, where is she? I'm here. Hey, Pam. There she is. Are you wet? I, I am very wet. I don't know if the camera is here is looking at me right now. And so that's what we, we're not just encouraging young people to keep their virginity. We're encouraging even other people to, to come and make that decision. And it's a decision that they'll be glad that they've made. You know, because a condom, there is no condom that can protect you from a broken heart and a shattered dream. One thing I have learned from kids, they don't know, want to know what to do in the backseat of the car. They want to know how to be in the driver's seat. What do you have to say to some of the young people about True Love Waits? Oh, man, it is worth the wait. Sexual abstinence until your marriage, until your marriage is the most unbelievable thing. And it is what the Bible requires. But it's God's way you of protecting you also. And it's, it's, I can't endorse it enough. Exactly. You guys are on the road with my colleague Lisa, and uh, I've done some dates with you as well. And as good looking as you guys are, have you ever ran into uh, any temptations on the road, and how do you deal with it? You know, we haven't because uh, Ronnie was saying earlier, when we're on the road, we are, especially when we start the show, we're, we're talking about Jesus. In the middle of the show, we're talking about Jesus. After the show, we're talking about Jesus. We're constantly surrounded surrounding ourselves with the Word of God, and I think that that does the job right there. True love waits, you gotta say. When you're feeling weak, you gotta pray. Yo, what to your mother? Have you seen a lot of pain and you want to stop that pain? I think it's difficult for young people, and this is a way to emphasize the positive approaches to developing as mature people in our society today. Well, I, I appreciate you, you all are from Philadelphia. Did you drive the stake in the ground today? Um, no, we didn't. We weren't here in time. Something. You said you want to look at that camera, and you want to say something, I'm sorry, to young people. I'm to say it loud. I'm going to say it You can go! You can go! 
know to the, the grave of any rock star who has died. Bring flowers. They're still there. Go to the grave of every president who died, every prime minister, every rich and famous person. They're still there. But don't bring flowers when you come to the grave of Jesus Christ. I've been there. He's gone. And many believe that communism fell across the communist empire largely because of people who were willing to hold high the cross. It's an easy decision. I would say to teenagers, the most important thing you've heard tonight is that God loves you. He wants you to have the fullest, happiest life possible. Doesn't it make sense if God made you, doesn't he know best how to make you truly happy? As an expression of God's love for you, he has decreed that all sex outside of marriage is wrong. We have great kids here for True Love Waits. We are going to wait. We're going to kick it over to Pam. Good night. Thanks for working with us. Thanks for being here. Peace. We out. Mike, I'm sitting here and I'm looking at the Thank Capitol you, building. You know what? Thank you, Mike. I believe that these young people right here were going to make a difference for America. Because. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. Pam Thumb, Mikey, thank you so much. Thanks to Jeff Moore as well. It's, it's What a great team we've had tonight. Uh, truly, truly. I, I am so honored to be a part of this myself. Thanks. It's exciting. And thanks, of course, to you as well and, and everyone who's placed their hands on this wonderful event.